Hi everyone, my name is Beth Safarian and I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist here at Proactive Pelvic Health Centre. Today I'm going to talk to you about changes that happen during menopause and how those changes affect your pelvic floor. So first and foremost, um, muscle atrophy is part of the natural aging process. So as we get older, our muscle mass actually decreases each year. Um, that is a normal part of aging, but it is important to keep in mind that that muscle atrophy that occurs also occurs in our pelvic floor, okay? So in terms of prevention, if someone goes into menopause with this level of muscle mass, and someone, goes, someone else is going into menopause at this level of muscle mass, 10 years later, they're both decreased because that's a normal change that happens. But you can see that this person who did some strengthening prior is at a better spot in terms of their um, amount of muscle mass that they still have versus this person here, okay? So it just kind of brings um, a focus to how important prevention um, of uh, pelvic floor dysfunction is via strengthening, okay? Next thing I want to talk about is um, connective tissue integrity, okay? So um, as we age and as we go through menopause, the uh, connective tissue and the fascia that support our pelvic organs, actually the integrity be actually begins to decrease. So it just becomes less strong, less, less tensile, and therefore, um, because the connective tissue isn't doing as much work as it should be anymore, it relies, we therefore rely on our pelvic floor even more to help bring that support to the areas that the fascia used to be supporting that it isn't able to do. The last thing I wanted to talk about too um, with menopause is the decrease in estrogen which leads to vaginal dryness. So um, I have a lot of women come in in their 50s, 60s who all of a sudden are now experiencing pain with intercourse, specifically like a burning stinging pain. Um, and this is usually indicative of the vaginal tissues, their, in, their tissues becoming more fragile and more dry as well. So there's a couple different options if you are someone who's experiencing dryness that your doctor may talk about with you as well. Um, they may recommend a lubricant, a vaginal moisturizer, or if those aren't sufficient, they may then also recommend um, an estrogen uh, suppository, so either a pill or a cream to um, insert vaginally as well, depending on how you're presenting. So those are some of the changes that happen with menopause, and it, those changes are normal um, because of the change in our hormones that happen, that drop in estrogen. However, it just brings to light the importance of preventative um, strengthening of your pelvic floor to prevent the uh, severity of these issues that may come across as we get older and as we go through menopause.